because uh, in this script uh, spiritual scriptures there are many thing uh, told about the enlightenment and liberation uh, somebody told that we have to know ourselves to be the god itself we have to know ourselves to be the atman itself by uh, realizing ourselves to be the supreme self supreme atman supreme uh, god then only we can take it as a understanding then only we can consider it as an enlightenment and by that enlightenment we can be liberated and uh, there are many scriptures says like that but when we but they are indirectly come to the same point uh, no doubt but at the same time uh, but when we have the feeling that we have to attain something in a great position we have to reach a greater state that means we are uh, having some expectation just like a monolaya so uh, whatever we want demand whatever we want to attain something it is only the manolaya and in the name of uh, liberation we also think we also begin to think that even liberation itself even the highest state itself takes the role of the manolaya but it is not so but here we have to understand that what we have understood only in the the intellectual level because we deal with everything only through our intellect through our mind through our thought so our thought takes the form of intellect and through the intellect we discuss everything we read scriptures we discuss many thing we we enquire for ourselves we examining the statements of many people we examine the statements of the scriptures and come to a conclusion what we have to do what is the thing we have to do for that we come to a conclusion that uh, here all efforts are waste of energy and uh, we have no work psychologically if we put down the psychological structure as it is everything will be all right so our intellect has business in the external world and the intellect has no business in the psychological world so this is the uh, actual understanding and this kind of understanding alone give they are giving the name as enlightenment or some great knowing Uh, so with great intelligence but at the same time we may doubt because uh, we are not th- we may think that this simple understanding how it how this simple understanding would be the greatest understanding the, the uh, how the simple understanding would be the greatest enlightenment we may doubt because uh, but at the same time if you straightly speaking it will the matter is simple the fact is very simple but the the scriptures Uh, take the role even to give some uh, some encouragement give some uh, some uh, some uh, some reward they all uh, they, thereby they give they give some encouragement to the ordinary people itself so they have to picture it as a greatest thing then only the ordinary people have some attraction towards that <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> otherwise they will not uh, no uh, the end entertainment is just like a small piece of pen of pen then nobody will come <laughs> so it is a greatest thing you have to for that to attain that you have to go uh, uh, above 7 and 8 uh, ocean and 7 and 8 mountains and <laughs> then only you can reach that then only we will be very much interested upon that but actually it is within it is within our hand it is within it is under our uh, under our legs so upon liberation itself we can walk so it is in it is below our hand below our, uh, our legs so upon which alone we can walk so it is it is very close but at the same time we may think like that because of the assurance given by the many scriptures like this we we may be like we may think like that but uh, that is the position many people take it as a very great thing and in they are uh, wasting their uh, very life 
you know very searching here and there they are wasting their entire life and after a very long time alone they come to a conclusion no demand no searching is not necessary but in the but we all know what is the case of ramana maharishi the ram in the case of ramana maharishi he got the enlightenment at his at his age of 16 years he has he has not read any books any the scriptures he has not got to any masters he has not uh, taken any practice any yoga any meditation nothing on the sort he, he is some a small boy but at the age of uh, 16 years one day he got the fear of death what will he what will happen if i did if i died so that is the question happened to him when he was a small boy but he do not know what how to what to how to behave with the fear of death so he simply accept the fear what will happen if he accept the fear of death he simply accept the fear when he simply accept the fear in his open mind the fear goes away naturally so that is a he without his knowledge what has happened he he simply faces the feeling faces the emotion and got it passed through him and uh, the natural flow he got the natural flow of the thought natural flow of the feeling but at the same time but uh, but later he, he he came to the contact with many people and he he lost his original language and he he he, he placed his experience in the frame of them Uh, some uh, d- some technical language or in the scriptures language so he give the name of atman and everything but uh, he had as he did not know what he has happened he, ha- he has not used the f- terminology as atman he do not know what is atman itself but he simply accept his mind simply accept the happening in the mind and he got the liberation so that is the happening in the case of ramanuja and you might have heard the in the case the here about the buddha how he had got the enlightenment he himself tried and he he wants to find out what is good for everybody he wants to be free from all sorrows and sufferings and uh, he tried as many people tried he also tried for yoga he got two masters and the two masters gave him many practices and he himself undergone many practices when whenever we do some meditation or any practices we may have some blissful feeling or or any good feeling for the time being but in the next moment we will be back in the original position for the time being we may be all right but in the next moment we will be back in the old state for example if we, uh, some toys are there if we give them key the toy will dance and run but if the key is over it will fall down <laughs> so in this way all meditational work all creating some energy field thereby for the time being will be all right the next moment will be back in the old process so in this way even buddha himself undergone many good feeling good experiences through his meditations but he worn out with all his meditational practices and he come to a conclusion no meditation will help him and he do not know what to do further because he has applied all practices according to the teachings of his guru but he had tried whatever he tried he, he has not succeeded so in a desperate condition he sat upon a tree doing nothing he do not know what to do he simply sit upon sit up under a tree and doing nothing so when he uh, sat upon a tree doing nothing uh, because he he did he, he did not do anything for himself when he did not do anything for himself then he allowed the natural flow of his mind and he find out what has uh, happened so that is the he given the name as the that is uh, what his name is nirvana is the state of nirvana we can, we can that is the state of nirvana but the nirvana is not it is not a state it is a natural state the natural state of mind is in the nirvana state it is the natural flowing state and he find out the natural flow of his mind 
బికాస్ వెన్ ఎవర్ హీ డిస్రిగార్డ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ వెన్ ఎవర్ హీ పుట్ డౌన్ ఆల్ ద ఎఫర్డ్ హీ అలౌ ద న్యాచురల్ ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ హిస్ మైండ్ అండ్ హీ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ అండ్ బట్ రీసెంట్లీ ఇన్ బుద్ధిజం ఆల్సో దేర్ ఆర్ దే ఆర్ డూయింగ్ మెనీ ప్రాక్టీసెస్ బట్ ఎవరీ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఇస్ ఇస్ గుడ్ ఫర్ ద బిగినర్స్ బట్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ దే దమ్స్ డూ నాట్ నో వాట్ ఈస్ ద క్రక్స్ ఆఫ్ ద టీచింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ బుద్ధ హింసల్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద సేమ్ కేస్ ఇన్ ద కేస్ ఆఫ్ Uh, the recent times uh, jay krishna murthy um, have you uh, heard about krishna murthy and uh, krishna murthy was taken by the philosophers theosophical society dr anibasan has taken him as his uh, adopted son and they expected that the great messiah may come from jay krishna murthy and they they are training them uh, to the 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 appearance of the messiah through him the valid teacher for him and they are uh, giving training them training to them and uh, krishna murthy himself uh, done many kind of meditation and he go to samadhi state he has many trans experiences many blissful experiences he will have some astral travel so many he has got many experiences but he has not enlightened but uh, he even though he got many such kind of yogic experiences he does not have any uh, enlightenment or liberation but he is waiting for that uh, and he are preparing all those things and what one time he was living along with his brother and his brother was seriously ill and he is looking after his brother when he was ill at that time they have to go to some, uh, so they have to go to from london to india for a function and uh, the everybody calls jay krishna murthy to come along with their journey but he re- he re- replied that i have to t- look after my brother and i won't come but they have some uh, some foretelling they have some custom of foretelling through some deities of the uh, theosophical society Uh, and uh, they got the some foretelling from the uh, some uh, some deities of the that whether they can take krishna murthy along with them whether his brother will be all right and the the god the deity told replied them nothing will happen to his brother he, you you may safely take krishna murthy along with you and believing upon the words of the deities they uh, they take krishna murthy along with the journey but the when they are in the middle way of the journey some telegram they received telegram uh, his brother is very serious but they whether they have to return or not whether they have to rely upon the words of the deity or proceed with the program or rely upon the telegram they do not know uh, at that situation and the another telegram comes uh, the his brother expired so he uh, uh, he is shocked because even the deity himself the words of deity himself is failed so he done, he unable to relay what to do so he within a desperate condition he locked himself in a room uh, within a within the sorrow he remained there in a, in a room with the full of sorrow sorrow of the death of his own brother but here Uh, what happened to him previously he, he, but he has the capacity to, at any time if want want he can go to meditation he can easily go to the samadhi state if he go to the samadhi state he can be easily free from sorrow or anything but he but he cannot do like this but he simply accept the sorrow as it is when he accept anything it goes away from him so he find out finally he himself find out the natural flow of his mind so in each case of in each and every enlightened person even though they do many thing but at last they will find out they will give the total for putting down the mind alone they will find the natural flow for mind the only understanding the natural flow for mind alone we can understand that everything is okay because uh, we need not uh, take our mind in our hand so the taking our mind in our hand is only the mano laya the mano laya is, is not the good state it may be a good whenever the mano laya some good experience may be there uh, in the same way the mano laya is the cause for the bad experiences also bitter experiences also it is common for both but at the same time liberation is not so the liberation is the mano nasa 
the whatever may be the manolaya it has to be it has to take the form of the liquid in the solid form must be dissolved uh, it must take the liquid form so then only our mind must be in the form of liquid it should not take any whenever some action is required we have to take the role of the manolaya then only you can do something but after as the necessity is over it has to once again in the form of the liquid that is the natural state of our mind and this liquid state is known as the liberation and uh, and even even most of the saints find out in their uh, last uh, effort in the last within desperate condition alone they find out the thing in their life and but at the same time it is not a great thing but it is the ordinary thing each and every moment the mano laya is there the mano nasa is there there is no moment without uh, mano nasa the mano nasa is our natural state but at the same time we have to confirm ourselves this understanding this finding is the real thing which every masters every enlightened people have come across every masters have fi- find out in their last venture uh, then only they can then only we can confirm that this is the greatest understanding and if you if you are sure that this is the greatest understanding then we no longer struggle for anything so we can accept ourselves we can accept the have functioning of our mind as a natural state then but that does not mean that we are we have become idle but we have externally we have many duties many work we can attend all the work in the external world but we have to find out we have to find out there is no work left for our soul to be done within ourselves there is no work so we have to accept our mind in the natural state and we have to understand that this is the natural one and uh, here but even though we understand this is the understanding that this is the enlightenment we have, we have to keep it in our mind but we need not express that i am enlightened if you say if you are, if you say to your friend i am enlightened then he will be disturbed <laughs> because the, the the your friend will not you uh, will not uh, will not tolerate it because uh, they may take enlightenment is a greatest thing then they cannot uh, associate you with the term enlightenment so for yourself you have to you have to be share that with yourself that we are enlightened and we have to test it for ourselves uh, how it functions how it works in our uh, actions in our day to day life and uh, but at the same time we need not hasty, we need not uh, hasty to reveal the matter to the other people that i am enlightened but you have to be confirm with yourself that you are enlightened but uh, that is a must we must have confirm ourselves then only we will be sure we may we may hesitate whether uh, can i compare me with the greatest lord buddha or can i compare me with the greatest masters is it possible but everybody is same because the mind is same to each and everybody the natural state of our mind is the liberated state we, it is not a matter of achievement it is not a matter of effort if it is a matter of effort or it is a matter of achievement we can consider it is a greater state but it is not a matter of uh, achievement matter of effort effort so it is a natural state the only thing is that we have to understand we have to take it what is enlightenment and what is liberation so there are the enlightenment is that we have no business psychologically and uh, when we understand like this we are giving total freedom to the natural flowing of our mind the natural flowing of our mind is liberation and uh, for that our understanding is actually comparing with liberation and the understanding is a little thing and this little thing as it is also important because unless the little that unless the happening of the little thing little thing is there there cannot be any liberation there cannot be any undisturbed liberation so even though the understanding is very simple it is one it is also a greatest one because then only we can give total freedom to yourself so we have to find out we have no business with my uh, with myself with the relate with the functioning of our mind and this small understanding is the real understanding 
this is the enlightened Mahesh Sir.